Hi everyone, it's me. Uh, my phone cord's decided that it's not going to plug into my phone anymore. That's good. It's about to break anyway. I suppose it's still technically about to break. How's everyone doing? Hi, Xenon. And hi again to Mox and Andy and Kristen. And... Where the heck is my... Here it is. I am not feeling too great, as the people I've been talking to will know. So hopefully this will help me feel a bit better. Just get into the role. Get into the role! You know, one of those. Ba 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 ba! Uh, as the past couple nights, frame rate may be a bit sketchy. Um, probably just for the first hour or so. That's how it's looked the past couple days. And then it'll probably even out. There's just been some problems between like 8 o'clock and 9.30. Thank you for that. Whenever it's timed like this, we have to wait till it gets so bad it's unusable. Before they'll do anything. So, you know, good stuff. Alright, so here we are. We've got to find the pieces of the story for Rama. And then bring them back to him because espers are weird. Also, this story is a story from Final Fantasy III. The story we're about to hear is a story from Final Fantasy III for the NES. So that's pretty cool. It's also delivered as actual history. From Mosh to Monty. Monty, were you able to escape Evil Forest? I think this continent is heading... Oh, right. Shit. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need to load. I hit continue. We heard that last week, though. Bye bye Gaston. Hey, Bad Road. Is it ff 8 story? Because that'd be impossible. <laughs> okay. Let's see, there's a Mithril Vest, a Mithril Armlet, a The Ogre, a Peridot... Well, we will get the Peridot, obviously. The Mithril Vest and the Mithril Armlet are the important things. We got the Vest. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Adamantois in the Snowfield Cavern and acquired the Goddess Bell they needed to enter the Empire's Castle. That's cooperation. You have four to go. Received a The Ogre. That's our second ever The Ogre. Ah, here's another. On their way home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter Nellie about the tragedy. That's silence. You have three to go. Whoops, wrong way. Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph, who lived with his daughter. When he had debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. It wasn't Final Fantasy III, by the way, it was two. I don't know how I got that mixed up. They headed for a cavern in the snowfield. So, for anyone in the YouTube comics who's about to yell at me right now... I know my shit, don't worry.
the fantasies start coming and they don't stop coming. All right, let's grab this. Mithril armlet. Good, that's the other important one. It's almost like the fantasies aren't final at all. There's two left of me. Are you gonna give up? I actually don't know what happens if you say you wanna give up. I've never done it. Although Joseph's death was not reported to his daughter, the manner of his death speaks for itself. This is the story of a true hero. You have one to go. The rebel troop it refers to is, of course, the player characters, or at least three of them. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. That's the last piece. But thou mustn't! So you found all five. Let's hear the story. However, the story comprises four parts. Be sure to choose only four. Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph, who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. I'm tearing up. They headed for a cavern in the snowfield. <laughs> Thanks for that, Andy. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Adamantois in the snowfield cavern and acquired the goddess spell they needed to enter the Empire's castle. On their way home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter Nellie about the tragedy. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. Let's recite your story. Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. They headed for a cavern in the snowfield. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the Adamantois in the snowfield cavern and acquired the goddess bell they needed to enter the Empire's castle. On their way home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter Nellie about the tragedy. Historian's explanation. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death up to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. Are you satisfied with your choices? Let me ask you one thing. How come you chose human for the conclusion? People pass down stories of other people to whom they feel an affinity. <laughs> the people in the stories had flaws, as we all do. That's why they became heroes in the people's minds. I want to know what you think, in your own words. Me? I'm away from my country, but I haven't forgotten about my people. Your soul is very tense right now. Maybe you'll begin to relax once I become your Eidolon. Thank you. There are many paths. Remember that you alone choose the path on which you walk. Receive Parado. Maybe now. Let's go to Lindblom. Hey, old man, you're gone already? What's wrong? I wanted to ask him why he made Dagger play such a silly game. 
Heroic? Human? Those are just things people say after the fact. Why try to give meaning to what the main character of the story chose? That is such a poignant line later on, by the way. <laughs> I think the old man would have become her Eidolon either way. That's the impression I got. D-Don, Vivi, let's go! You're exactly right. It's not what the people say afterwards. What's important is being true to oneself. She may not have realized it, but when she wished to learn how to use summon magic, the summon power returned to her. Summon magic can be used for good or for evil. She's still young, but there's room for growth, so I chose her as my master. I'll be watching over her. I hope you two will also protect her. Yeah, of course! Look, it's Lindblom Castle. Such a pretty painting. I don't think we can turn back once we jump off. What do you want to do? The fact that the backgrounds aren't scaled up makes a lot of it look like just really gorgeous oil paintings. I'm really enjoying this. Lead on. I want to use summon magic to protect everyone. That's actually something I wound up figuring out myself and then having a bunch of people tell me this, this amazing revelation. Like, afterwards. <laughs> Bad wrote. <laughs> but uh, it's a really cool feature and it gives you a reason to go around collecting the gems. I want to use summon magic to protect everyone. I know you can do it, Dagger. Zidane. Look! Is that... Is that the Red Rose? themes from Final Fantasy Tactics in that song. Those lights must be telepods! They're sending black mages directly into the castle! In Clara, they used summon magic afterwards. No! Mother! Mother! Dagger! For those who don't know, that is Atomos, who controls gravity, effectively. He is a big chonker. Big chonking honker of a chungus. It's so quiet. Mother, I can't believe you've attacked Lindblom. K 
careful. They might still be around. Vivi, you stay here and hide. No way! It's dangerous here! There are Alexandrian soldiers everywhere. You should stay out of their sight. Okay. Don't fret. We'll be right back. I'm sorry, Vivi. It's okay. Just make it quick. Mommy? Daddy, where are you? Please don't leave me here. The people of this country still don't understand. Regent Sid lost the war. Why don't they face the truth? Alright, just a second. Are you going to resist us? Yes, to the death. Oh, really? I admire your courage. Armed with Black Mage Army and the Eidolons? Queen Braun is invincible. I, I totally flubbed that line in like two places. Armed with the Black Mage Army and the Eidolons, Queen Braun is invincible. Resistance will only bring death. Finish it off! Should I crush its head? How about its chest? Stop it! He's a living creature! What did you say? Ron programmed them to kill, but they're still just like anyone else. Lies! They might look human, but that's where the similarity ends. They destroy everything. Wrecking balls destroy... <laughs> I'm stumbling a lot. They destroy everything, like wrecking balls destroy buildings. They don't even know we're made of flesh and blood. Did, did you did did you catch did you catch the irony of the line? It's very subtle, I know. I don't care if it lives. My friend was burned alive by it. An airship fell out of the sky and almost hit me. Thank goodness it was only a small cargo ship. Rejoice, for you're now part of the Alexandrian Empire. Do you know a rebel group called the Vigilantes? No. If you do, you must report it to me right away. They've already formed a resistance. That was quick. The industrial district is gone, and the business and theater districts are also in ruins. I don't remember Artania's voice. Allocate soldiers to the reconstruction. We must get the citizens' lives back on track. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania. Princess Garnet, Master Zedon. I'm glad to see you're both safe. Where's Uncle Sid? Is the regent safe? Yes, Princess. The castle was spared. Regent Sid is alive. Thank goodness. I'll take you to see him. Princess Garnet's back. Uncle Sid. Garnet, I thought Braun had imprisoned you. Zedon rescued me. Thank you, Zedon. Grrr. But Freya, Steiner, and Beatrice were left behind. I... Ah, the renowned General Beatrice. I don't think you have anything to worry about, then. I don't think so either, Dagger. We wound up in Pinnacle Rocks instead of Traino, but... They'll be fine on their own. Grrr. Pinnacle? Did you ride the Gargant? How'd you know? It's my job to know the land surrounding my country. However, I'd sometimes lack foresight. 
Ron was after the Quirk Eidolons. Not much I knew. But I underestimated the power of the Eidolons. Maybe I deserve to be cursed with this body. I'm glad you surrendered. Clearer resisted and perished. What should I say? What can I do? We got a live one here! Watch out! It might attack! Hey, this one's way smaller than the others. Ow, let me go! I'm not one of them! And why are you dressed like a black mage? That must be... We took an Alexandrian soldier into custody. I just said... Should we turn it over to Alexandria? Uncle Sid. Let him go. Master Vivi is not an Alexandrian soldier. It's only a disguise to uh, deceive the enemy. I, I see. My apologies. That's right. Vivi the super spy. I've acquired more information about Queen Bran. Quack. A weapons dealer named Kuja is behind the recent string of attacks. Kuja's been supplying Bran with highly advanced magic weapons. Supplying my mother with... weapons? Yes, the Black Mage soldiers are among those weapons. According to eyewitnesses in Trino, Kuja appeared from the northern sky on a silver dragon. That's the guy I saw in Burmesia. That he came from the north suggests that he's from the Outer Continent. The Outer Continent? Yeah, there's lots of unexplored continents in the world. The Outer Continent is an unexplored continent located to the north of our Mist Continent. I believe Kuja is the only one supplying Bron with weapons. The man I saw at the castle must have been Kuja. He must be the one who's corrupting my mother. If we eliminate Kuja... You both catch on quickly. Defeat Kuja and Bron loses her weapon supply. That'll be our cue for a counterattack. Challenging Bron now will only result in more casualties. So we crush the source of the evil. Yes, Kuja will find other clients even if we defeat Bron. I make no excuses for my mother's behavior, but I shan't forgive Kuja for taking advantage of her. But first, we must rescue Steiner and the others. I'm afraid I can't spare any soldiers. They must remain to protect our citizens. Hey, Dagger, I'm telling you, they'll be fine. The best dragon knight of Burmesia, the female general of Alexandria, and Rusty. How could they lose? Besides, you have me to protect you. Then I'll look for Kuja. I want to go too. There's no place for me here. Alright, let's go kick Kuja's butt! Will you lend us the fastest airship in Lindblom? Airships only fly where there's mist, and the mist only exists on this continent. Quack. That means you can't cross the ocean on an airship. What about the new airship that can fly without the mist? It's not ready yet. Quirk. Besides, it's under Bronn's control. Bronn gave us two conditions for our surrender. One was the surrender of the new airship. The other was to hand over Quirk. the Falcon Claw. The airship I can understand, but what does she want with a piece of jewelry? I have no idea. Alright, we'll take a boat. Risby, don't start barking, please. That's, again, the neighbors closing their car door. Alright, we'll take a boat. That's not an option either. The harbor was also seized. Ah! What do you want us to do? Swim? There is a way. There's an old excavation site near a swamp located north of the castle. Monsters not native to our continent are rumored to appear in the excavation site. The cave, which was found during excavation, is rumored to lead to another continent. Will this cave lead us to the outer continent? Doesn't sound too reliable. Are you sure? <laughs> Not sure. I guess we'll find out. Not no one's half the fun, huh? <laughs> Please protect Princess Garnet. We're prepared the counter- We'll prepare the counterattack in the meantime. 
It's not much, but use it to prepare for your journey. I'll wait here, Xenon. Will you get my stuff too? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Hand dog bark pup car door, yes. Precisely that. Listen, Lindblom is Alexandrian territory now. Christy dabbing across the room as she sneezes. You won't be able to come back for a while. Prepare yourself well. Let me know when you're ready. I was thinking about buying a new sword. But everything's so expensive here. I wonder if he'd give me a discount. I raised the price because I don't want to sell him anything. But I'll give you a major discount. Um, a second partisan, maybe? Definitely need molten rackets. make sure I have at least a couple of everything. That's that's the secret. That's that's how this works. Got five mithril gloves. Silk shirt. Couple chain mails. Couple mithril armors. And now we take this stuff and squish it together and make a lot of noise, and then there will be other stuff. The Exploda. For exploding. Cotton robe, silk road, desert boats. Is there a bad road? Sorry, I mean uh, a bad robe. Kachusha. Let's grab another Kachusha. Coral ring. Barrette. Uh, right. That's the ice attack one. Which is only useful for Shiva and nothing else. Um, yeah, we got everything. Good. Alright, switch out of the Ogre for, uh, for uh, the Exploda. Oga the Exploda. You know, that classic children's cartoon. Thank you, Mox. Um, <clears throat> that will help her stats out a lot. Bandana, Mage's Hat, does she have something else teaching her loudmouth? Yeah, she does. Bandana for Insomniac. Mithril Rod can be switched out to Stardust or Maltina. Blind is super, super useful to have around, so let's start with Blind. Wait, does she have... Okay, she's learning Ability Up off the Silk Road. Okay. So yeah, definitely the rack at first. <laughs> Never tried covering a robe in silk. The flame looks so cold, it's as though it's weeping. A black mage was attacking my dad by the time I got here. He escaped with his life, but he burned his hands in the fire. He said he won't be able to do any more synthesis work. No, I asked him to train me. 
going to become a great synthesis worker like him. I'll work hard. You might remember that he and his dad were arguing about him taking over the business last time we were here. Okay, let's see if there's anything else to find. <laughs> oh, I should probably grab another one of those daggers that I used up the last of. The kid didn't want to take over. Oh, I didn't use up the last of it, just most of the last of it. That's all that stuff. The third jewel. We started loading the supplies. Took long enough, didn't it? Yes, the Lindblom soldiers won't obey our orders. Oh, we have to finish up before Queen Braun becomes upset. Send all available personnel to the harbor and assist in supplying the fleet. Staying here is pointless now that we have the Falcon Claw. Yes, ma'am. Damn it, I lost everything in the attack. Where's the combat ship armada when you need it? I'm mostly eaten by Atomus. You know, as a treat. Ah, it's a letter from the Flying Moogle Sereno. Thanks for delivering the letter, Koopo. Eidolons can have little airship. Atomos can have little a gunship. I rode an airship called the Red Rose, but I saw something horrible, Koopo. The idol on Odin's power is terrifying. It destroyed Clara completely. There's not even a trace of the city now. Bronze Red Rose destroyed Clara. Bron is scary, Koopo. There's a letter for Zidon. Oh, I'm having a terrible time finding actors. I'm willing to take anyone who can read at this point. What was his name, that narcissist from Lindblom? I'd even take him. Get him over to my mini theater. We need to get some business. <laughs> Does she mean Lowell? He's a narcissist, all right, Koopo. I have a favor to ask. I want you to deliver a letter to Moot. Thanks, Koopo. Moot. All right, there's a few things we can pick up here. I think we can get the city's card up here. Yeah, here it is. Speaking of which, let's open the card menu real quick and make sure I'm not running out of room. Just want to save the ones with the best arrow configuration. Just probably five.
Oh, these all suck. Good ban on that bot. It sent me a whisper right after, too. Uh huh. Make sure to report that. I'm trying to close the whisper window. Get out of here. Well, thank you, Trailblazer Media, for the raid. Just throwing out cards right now. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see. That's enough for now. Good to meet y'all. I'm Alice. Oops. You have cards or items in this house. Doesn't matter. I'm stealing them. Phoenix Pinion. Might as well keep collecting those for Phoenix later. All right, am I back? I think I'm back. It was going good right up till that moment. Sorry about that, everyone. All right, just refreshing things to get things back on track. We have a very unreliable ISP. Okay, here we go. Let's see, was there anything else to get here? I think we're going to the theater district next. Someone who can hear me, uh... Tell, tell anyone else in the chat that they can refresh and I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Bad Road. What's wrong with mommy? Why is she crying? This way, then. No? One of these has to lead out. Come on. Starting tomorrow, Alexandria will be running the air cabs. Those who wish to ride an air cab must pay 200 gil per trip. Once again, the true enemy was capitalism. What's she gonna do with my painting? Hmm. This is a nice painting. Such a sad picture, but it possesses strength. Yeah, you think so? Please, sir, I'd like some ore. There was no need to take things this far. I pledged my loyalty to Queen Braun in order to protect Alexandria, not to kill people. Even a big star like me can't make a living without a theater. Hey pal, do you know any other theaters I can work at? 
Yeah, girl, uh, this girl Ruby runs a small theater in Alexandria. Oh, buddy, is that right? I'm too big of a star for a sleepy town like Alexandria, but that's okay. I'll share my talent with those uncultured people. Oh, don't go! Ruby and Lal, huh? What a strange pairing of actors. This is where I witnessed the industrial district disappear. I bet everyone's dead. The Eidolon swallowed everything. There's some money. There's some money. Over here is some money. Oh, it's you, Zidane. I almost peed my pants. We've been protecting the Tantalus hideout while you were gone. You can leave us here. Go take care of the bad guys. I thought you were one of them people with pointy hats. Is Uncle Baku coming home soon? Wouldn't be so scary if he was around. Can we get some order in the chat? <laughs> All right, let's head back. It's the guy up here we have to talk to. You ready? Follow me. The region's waiting on the base level. Bronze fleet arrives. Why are they loading food instead of valuables onto the ship? Or if they're gonna take them all back to Alexandria? Maybe they're going on a really long trip. Stop that chatter and keep loading the ship. Damn them. They think they can walk all over us. We gotta stall more. Let's keep working. Alexandria rules this continent now. Where else can they go and conquer? What do they really want? I don't know. But you know how greedy Braun is. I wonder where we're going next. I don't know of any kingdom that poses a threat to our country. I'm sure Queen Braun has a plan. There's no need for us to worry about such matters. Come now, we need your help. Some Lindblom soldiers have locked themselves up in the guest room. I wonder what Bronn's gonna do. Be done. Do we really have to go to the Outer Continent? Hey, what's up with you? You said you wanted to go. What if... What if something happens to you or Vivi? I might not be okay on my own. You worried about me? What? Well, I mean, um... 
A princess needs her elite guards, you know. I'd be stranded without you guys. Are you trying to flatter me by calling me your elite guard? Sorry, I'm only kidding. You'll be fine with me. What about you, Dagger? We don't know anything about the Outer Continent. I've made up my mind. I don't want my mother to commit any more atrocities. Alright then, I'll protect both you and Vivi. Thank you. Zidon, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Vivi, where's Uncle Sid? Um, he said guac guac wait here and went away somewhere. Where could he be? Guac, I did it! <laughs> I stopped a trolley between here and the Serpent's Gate. Guac, that'll show him not to fool around in my castle. Now go! Guac. The excavation site's like a maze. Be careful not to get lost. And, uh, take this with you. It's a rag. You big dope, it's not just a rag. That is a national treasure of Lindblom. That's an ancient map of the entire world. Wow, thanks. Now go before they find you. Zidane, Vivi, please protect Princess Garnet. Okay. Uncle Sid? Don't worry about me. I'm stronger than I look. Now go! Now squeeze all the Oglop oil out of my body if we're caught. Let's go, Dagger. Walk, walk, how infuriating. My, my, they have an oglop for a region and buffoons for soldiers. Why do they take so long to load supplies? Hmm. Uh. You two, I did not give you permission to rest. I understand that things are moving slow, but keep in mind that the next mission is about to begin. The machine over there stopped and the trolley stopped coming. Right? Yeah, it made this strange guac guac sound. I wanted to go shopping before we left the harbor. Any word from the lookout? No, ma'am, nothing. This must be Regent Sid's doing. He's hiding something. Come with us, you two. Find the Regent. Yes, ma'am. A letter from Mudon? Thanks, Koopo. Oh, it's terrible, Koopo. Maki from the castle's missing. Did the Alexandrian soldiers kidnap him, or did the Black Mages eat him? Koopo, I'm so worried. What's going on, Koopo? I want mail, Koopo. Oh yeah, I really like the cutaway scenes. <laughs> Going to the excavation site. It's located directly north of here. You'll see a pond shaped like a gourd. You might encounter some strange monsters. Hey, you want to buy something? There we go. Gonna need some of these. Gonna need some of these. Got plenty of the rest of these. Let's re-equip Vivi real quick.
sure for now. Vivi's already got all his stuff. As soon as she's done with the Kachusha. Or actually, there's something here that could teach her ability up. Oh, she's learning it from the Silk Robe, so she doesn't even need that, which means she can equip the Peridot. Hey, Rez. Glad you can make it. All right. So something we can do right now is return another Koopo Nut to the Moogle in the cave. Oh shit, I left Discord open. Y'all don't want to hear that. Despite that that's absolutely adorable. And I love it, Christy. Can I show that on stream? Yeah, Alright, let's drag this out here. Absolutely adorable. Christy has drawn little art of the main characters of Terrible Adventures and in an Impossible Land. <laughs> this is adorable. All right. Back to the game. Little adorable. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Sudden sneeze. Alright. Oh, yeah. We should go find chocographs while we're out here, too. More side content, everyone! Way. I don't think there's any more to... I think we've actually got all the ones that we can get right now. Let me take a look here real quick. Yeah, there's nothing else listed, so... Alright, so we're just going to head over to Gizmaluk, I believe is this one. Yeah. And we're going to turn on Fast Forward and turn off Encounters, and just do a quick run through to give this here nut to this here Moogle. Oh my god, they got a baby! He's Baby Moogle! You have Koopo Nut! Can I have it, Koopo? So, I guess the more Nut, the more Baby. I'm so sorry. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> All right. Let's choke Bobo. Well, all we know is that it's somewhere in the swamp. 
So not a lot more side content as it turns out. Chocobo bo 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 bo. Choco loco. Choco Taco. <gasps> Look who it is! They made it out alive! Koina, you're safe! Long time no see, Zidan. Much trouble coming back from Clearer alone. Do you know a way to the Outer Continent? I heard there was an entrance somewhere around here. Outer Continent? Ah, maybe I find more delicious frogs! Sound interesting. I help you, and I eat more frogs. I come with you. Well, we got Queena back. And I'm certain everyone's happy about that. And if you're not, well, that's your problem. All right, let's catch more frog. Dinan, can I catch more frogs? Queen can have little a frog. There's ten. Alright, that's a female. And I don't think it can exit that side pool. Or at least they don't like to. No, we don't want to catch the gold frog. Alright. We're going to leave that frog for breeding. This is a frog breeding simulator, after all. Bloody hell. I lost track of which one was which. I think it's the one on the rock that's the, uh, the male that I set aside. Now it's that one. Come on, hop out. Grr. Come on. All right, that's 14. That's 14 in a row. There's a frog on the rock, on the bump on the log, in the hole in the middle of the sea. There you go. Now you want to leave one male frog, one female frog, and one golden envy frog. The envy frog must be free. Do you know ex any excavation sites in this area? Excavation site? Hmm. Maybe I hear about it. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? I only hear about excavation site around this area. This marsh road covered in brush. Maybe the road to excavation site hidden somewhere. Queena might know. 
in and brush, huh? Well, thanks anyway. That frog must watch. It's got to give its blessing. Queena, where are you going? I smell... I smell frogs! No, we gotta look for the entrance to the Outer Continent. I smell frog this way! <laughs> Queena, hold on! Damn it! Aha! Frogs! Hold! Ah, uh, they run away again. Wait a minute, Queena, check it out. This entrance, this is, this must be the entrance to the excavation site. First time I see this. Xenon, we going inside? Of course we will. My lead to the outer continent, let's go. All right. There's some blue magic in here, too, specifically Feather Circle and Griffin. So we're going to get those real quick. Here it is, Fossil Roo. There's something inside there? It's too dark to see. Gee, this doesn't look uh, like something terrible is going to happen at all, huh? What the? Nope! You have got to be kidding! Shit. Oh no. It's fine, it's fine. Now we just have to beat it up. Oh, good. Death. That's what we wanted. Well, it's a good thing it missed. <laughs> Let's just put all the power on it. Yeah, it's not getting back up after that one. <clears throat> Turns out that uh, gods are pretty strong. Shit. I used to be able to get past these swinging blades with no problem. <clears throat> not so much anymore. I used to be good at this game. <laughs> Hooray, you had cereal. <clears throat> I mean, this is fine. It's not like this is a difficult fight by any stretch. Ooh. 
Cheerios, but with blueberries. <clears throat> oh no, but if you didn't... <clears throat> My voice is going. Oh no, but if you didn't have bananas, you couldn't, you couldn't create the serving suggestion. <clears throat> Spear! Spear! <clears throat> That's a wrestling reference. Vivi's gotten very strong, as you can see. Ah, oh, god damn it. Thought I had the time. Son of a I swear I used to be good at this game. Don't you thunder on me. Fine, I can just keep knocking him over. We'll just pretend that the game's not really complete unless you unless you beat him three times. Bye. Banana bushes, of course. My favorite kind of shrubbery. <laughs> Sorry, Vivi, are you okay? Yeah. Look out! Out of the way! Hey! Ah, that was a close call. Jeez, that didn't do much good. Who's there? <laughs> I've been looking for you, Princess Garnet. It's the wrong accent. I've been looking for you, Princess Garnet. Have we met? Stop flirting with her. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. I'm Lonnie. I'm under order by the Queen to find you, Princess. My mother? What does my mother want with me? I am not returning to Alexandria. I've got bad news for you, princess. It's not you I'm after. What do you mean? The pendant, that sound familiar? Let's have it back. That belongs to Queen Braun. Listen carefully, princess. You escaped unscathed from the monster, but you're not going to be so lucky with me. Hand over the pendant right this minute. You the one who set that monster loose? Retrieving the pendant far outweighs the safety of the princess. And what do you mean by that? I meant exactly what I said. My orders don't include Princess Garnet's safe return. What? My mother would never order- That's enough! Give me the pendant! You are trying my patience! Huh. And what if we refuse? Stubborn fools! Have it your way! Now here's the real fight. Couple of good items to steal here. Give me the pendant and surrender. Well, it's a good thing we've got this guard. Can she be slowed or anything? I think she can be slowed and blinded. Which, it's a good thing I just got blind. Oh no, 160 damage. Whatever will we do? I 
There's the slow. And here's the blind. Can we eat Lonnie? Unfortunately, no. Okay, there's an ether. Put Lonnie in Code Burger, you cowards. This is the character that Katie initially based Lonnie the Bat off of, by the way. Um, steal. Couldn't steal anything. Well, I guess we're fast forwarding now. Well, that's good. There's that good, good trance. Well, might as well not waste it. Let's get some damage in. Had enough yet? Should have thrown one of our tents at Lonnie. <laughs> hmm. For some reason, I thought that was supposed to automatically carry out the full animation while she was in trance. Ouch. Rude. Still couldn't steal anything. Seriously? I really hate that they can do that. There's the Gladius. Just need the Coral Sword now. Oh my god! Okay. Why did that get used on the wrong person? Very annoyed right now. Good cover. Right, she always try targets uh, <clears throat> Dagger. God damn it. Very annoyed right now. <clears throat> the problem is that most of her attacks are magic, so Protect Girls doesn't work. <clears throat> Zedon used it there for a second, but... Only for a second, only against the physical attacks. I just want the damn Coral Sword. 
This will be real easy once we've got the Coral Sword. Well, Dagger's dead again. You can't just keep targeting someone who's already dead with stuff that can't target dead people. this. <clears throat> um, yeah, nothing to really do. Except keep her healed. Fine, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, come on, Zidon, steal the damn thing. We got this, we got this. Just re slower. Or not. It's cool. Alright. Just cure on yourself. Vivi can slow. Vivi can little as slow. Vivi's a little puppy. Ow, rude. Slow again. There we go. There we go. Now the fight can start. All right, I have white wind. Scan. I'm scared.
What do you think you're doing? Now she's pissed. Chonk. Why aren't you giving up? problem. See, once you can stop worrying about stealing all their shit, you can overpower people pretty quick. You're pretty good. What a drag. I'll let you guys go for now. Alright, so since we already have White Wind... We only need to eat Feather Circle. An untamed Gargan, huh? Eh, maybe I can ride it. Well, I found some flowers. Oh right, there's a thing to uh, grab back here that I almost always forget. But real quick, Feather Circle is an enemy, yes. See, when I'm concentrating on just getting by those, they're much easier to get by. Well, these exist. Abomination, indeed. Hit it with a tennis ball. Are those limbs or hair? Yes. We call those hymns. Or lair. Loud mouth and jelly. Loud mouth, loud mouth butter, and jelly. Learn jelly. <clears throat> Here we go. Auto potion. Ability up. That's what we really want. Everyone needs ability up.
Those look like a woolly shambler from behind. Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, those actually do a bit of damage. Yeah, this game is basically cutesy body horror, start to finish. Well, there's Griffin. Griffin McElroy laughing in background. I love his squinchy little face. And I love the griffin's puffy little cheeks. Advanced pleat. It's like they used a parakeet chick for the reference, yes. Alright, Dagger's learned ability up. Alright, we need to actually put that on Queena, too. Yeah, as soon as I get to a save point. Ability up! Hooray! So I'm gonna turn off encounters while we run back down that hallway. Quality of life and all that. Whoops, that was the wrong way. Sorry, I looked away from the screen and then forgot where I was going. Um, take the flower. Hey, Buggo, eat this flower. Flower eight. Wait, what? Okay. Just gonna keep hitting it. Here's where we're going. Achievement unlocked. Chunch them leaves. 
Are you here for the treasure too? Treasure? What are you talking about? You don't know? This excavation site has tons of treasure and rare fossils. Not here to steal them? No, we're not treasure hunting. Does this tunnel connect to the Outer Continent? The Outer Continent? You're trying to go outside? Huh. Well, this tunnel's like a web. I don't even know how far it goes. I need to go that way, but it's quite a trip. The only way to get further is to hitch a ride on the Gargant. But it'll lead you to a dead end if you let it go wherever it wants. So you navigate the Gargant with that switch over there. What's the relationship between the switch and the Gargants? The switch changes which fountain the water comes out of. Gargants hate water. You can block off the sections you don't want to go want it to go to by activating the fountain with the switch. That over there is the number two switch. You'll need to trigger it to go over to the other side. I see. How do I get there? Do I have to tell you everything? You can get there on a Gargant, but you'll need to trigger the number one switch to do it. I see. Thanks for the info. Hey, look who it is. That was some trouble I ran into in Clara. I was hurt so bad I couldn't even move, but now that I've recovered, I'm back on track. You want to buy a set of Phoenix Pinion, Remedy, and Ether for 555 gil? Yes, yes I do. Thanks to you, I can continue on my journey. What the heck is this place? It's like a maze. I got a letter from Kuppo. I don't even know who Kuppo is, Koopo. Let's read it together. I'm bored, Koopo. I'm so bored, I'm gonna hide away. Try and find me inside the cavern. Hint, I'm behind a wall. What a carefree moogle, Koopo. I fled from Lindblom with my life. Alright, I'm going to take a quick BRB, run an ad break, all that. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. For those of you new to the stream, I don't care if you watch the ad break or not. I really don't. <laughs> we'll see you in a few minutes regardless. So, I'm back. I'm going to light an incense while I'm here. Um, how about cherry vanilla? That sounds good. It's cherry vanilla? Yeah, that's cherry vanilla. I'm quite incensed with this incense. I think that means angry or something. I'm not actually angry at the incense. hand dipped so it's kind of hard to light. Takes a couple tries. But now the air is gonna smell like incense of some sort. All right. Let's see what this Moogle's selling, shall we? Same, same stuff. Ah, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Tent, that's what I wanted. How's everyone doing? All right. So we're gonna go through this quickly rather than resolving a puzzle I haven't done in years. So we're, I'm going to follow this guide I've got open that gets us all the items. I'm glad y'all are good. Is this right? 
Take the path leading to a gargant right near the Moogles to end up by a chest with fairy... Okay. I gotta actually take the gargant along. Once you've solved these puzzles a certain number of times, you don't feel like you should have to do them again. They were very fun the first time. Very earrings. I don't remember who all can wear them. I think everyone can wear them. Yes. Anyone with pierced ears, I suppose. And Queena, who may or may not have ears. Alright, level up and body temp. Also, they teach regen, which I think is an Ico spell. Yeah, she can't learn it. So that's Ico. Vivi it is. Vivi gets to wear the pretty earrings. Queena can pierce whatever they want. That's right. With a fork, probably. I was checking if I'd accidentally turned off encounters. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass to get that to appear. This is school, will we? We're five very sweet queer women who like video games. Very nice. <laughs> now, I know there's some Mad Ains rings in here, which is actually a spoiler for something that happens later, which is odd. All right. Ride the way bet you came and into the main room. Take the path near the human miner. Here's what you have to do. Turn on the number one switch. Knuckles the echidna in chat. We gotta turn on the number one switch. I think this is over here, maybe? Number one switch. Let's flip it. Ride the Gargant to the number two switch. Flip the number two switch. After picking up this, ether. Ride the gargant back to the number one switch. Oh no! <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's set to admin only, maybe? Nope, there it goes. There was just a delay. Oh, there's Feather Circle. Notice that they are neither Feather nor Circle. Feather Circle in name only, etc.
Alright, that's too much. Majestic flap flaps. Alright. See if this is enough. Eat one. Yes, trouble is slightly annoying. Basically, if someone who has trouble on them gets hit, everyone else takes part of the damage as well. I know can't eat until it weaker. Well, hit it. And Vivi goes into trance. Which means his trouble is cured. Oh, she's too strong. All right, Vivi's gonna gonna eat, try and uh, hit this one then. I think I just I'm not sure what just happened there. Big brain fart. All right, perfect. Oh, I told Zidane to steal. All right, this should do it. Now, eat that manta ray! Auto potion and bio and distract learned. the Adam invest stone killer nah that's holy molly distant le distant relation to holly to molly holly Leap the number one switch. Again. Now we ride the Gargant. Not to be confused with the Shoe Puff, who is much taller. back in the main room. Let's save Koopo. getting swooshled. You can't swooshel me.
I wish I could counterattack with a healing spell. Do you need me to define swooshal? Okay, well, you know that feeling when the world gets all swooshily? That's a swooshal. You're welcome. Always happy to help. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Hey, it's another guy. Hey, you made it this far already? You wanna buy something? This cannot be a profitable shop. Come visit me again! I mean, considering that this is shit he just stole out of an abandoned mine for free, it's basically all profit. <laughs> Why does it just happen to be the exact same stuff that they were selling at the Dragon's Gate, though? Do you think these ruins are fake? I think these ruins are fake. Flip switch four. Tourist trap ruins. There's a lot of those nowadays. People converting ruins into tourist traps. Here's Lamaya's tiara. Boys can't wear this one. So at this point, it's just Dagger and Queena. Forget what it teaches. Huh. Oh, right, it's headgear, not an accessory. There it is. Clear headed, confuse, and float. So it's more important for Dagger right now. No, we gotta wait till she's finished with Insomniac. Should just be one or two more fights. Um, yeah, that's all that's over here. This is very true, Christy. Oh wait, we don't need that. We'll just take it this way. Zidon can have little flower too, as a treat. Right? Do we take this one or is there another one to take?
I guess we'll find out in a sec. Um, I don't think this is right. Maybe? No, this is right. It's fine, don't worry about the purple abomination. Well, don't be worried about the purple abomination. They burn just like everyone else. There we go. I knew there was a trap here. I'm not sure why it didn't trigger the first time. I thought that was just supposed to happen. The same thing that happens to everybody else? <laughs> here we go. Wow, I can't believe you made it this far without getting hurt. This is my territory. Go dig somewhere else. Actually, I'll let you excavate here in exchange for a potion. Thanks, buddy. Okay. So we can dig up Madwin's ring here. Or just a lot of ore. But the most important thing to find... Was it not here? I thought this was the spot. Guess not. No, I know it's that fucking wall, because it's the part that looks strange. There we go. Cool. Can I help you, Koopa? He was just hiding in that thing's mouth the whole time. I have a favor to ask, Koopa. Thanks, Koopa. Now we can deliver a letter from Kapo to Koopa. Also, buy potions. The most important thing, dead silence. Yes. See, you get it. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna tap the wall a bit and hopefully find Madoin's ring. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Oh, I still have the Maddox too. It's completely random, as far as anyone knows. So, we're not gonna go at it for too long.
And there doesn't actually seem to be any way to cause it to appear more quickly. Oh yeah, I guess we could fast forward. Good idea. This is much better. And it'll still manage to take forever. It's a very advanced item that we're gonna get in a while anyway, so it's not that big a deal. The bone pecker sounds pretty terrifying and or sexual. There's a high potion. Yeah, we're looking for Madwin's ring. Which we'll get we'll get later. I've had enough. Just ask Eager, that's true. No, I know there's something in here. Here it is. Survival vest. It's a new vest. Teaches locomotion and mug. Which, you don't actually want mug in this game. Most Final Fantasy games, it's a good thing. This one, you generally don't want to deal damage while you're stealing. Sure, she can learn Chemist. They can learn... Are they learning Loudmouth from... Yes, they are. Yeah, they can learn Clear... No, no, because Dagger was going to equip that. Alright. When I got Mug was when Zedon started dealing damage. <laughs> I don't use it. Warning, you will be shut out once you flip this switch and go outside. Let's do it. Now we grab this. And we get into a fight. I like is that there's not a boss to this area because you fight the boss at the beginning yeah you fight too you don't actually have to fight the first one I just sucked real bad at the uh, passage at the start
La Maya's tiara. It winds up being, like, actually really important that a lot of your characters have clear-headed later on. There's a specific boss fight where if you don't have it on everyone, it's not, it's not pretty. They're almost done, Millionaire. I like that the Envy can wear whatever they want. All the other characters are all caught up in gender norms and shit. Resby, don't do that. This light. There's no mist here. Welcome to the Outer Continent. It's kind of a bleak place, honestly. Alright, Goblin Mage and Cactor have blue magic here. And there's some chocographs. So we're going to fight Goblin Mage and Cactor. And also we're going to find Ragtimer. It's the Ragtime Mouth. Hell yeah, 1,000 needles time. Apparently Ragtimer doesn't want to show up. Zagnol, what are you doing here? Last time we fought you, you were a boss fight. That is a large child. Finish learning Rama, finish learning Millionaire. Cura. Yeah, let's give her Cura. And we can switch off the cotton robe because that's teaching her a chemist. So we can give her better armor. Like Mithril Vest or the Magician Robe, either one teaches the same thing. MP plus 10 and clear headed. They really do need that MP plus. Because their, their magic is very expensive. Very expensive, Douglas. Good stuff. Chemist. Loudmouth. Undead killer? I feel like there might be undead out here.
Come on, Ragtime Mouse. Show yourself. Show us your glorious teeth. Your glorious ragtime teeth. Or rag teeth. <laughs> Damn it. Beat it up. Get it out of the way. Get out of here. Hooray! Also, drop in Parados, which then increase the strength of Rama passively. Alright, nothing new for Vivi. This is fine. Everyone switch rows real quick. I guess we'll quit looking for Ragtimer. I guess just equip the yellow scarf for now. Six paw pads! More than enough to pap anything that moves. Alright, we gotta find the Chocobo tracks. That's our next stop. Oh look, there seems to be some sort of structure on that bridge. Uh-oh. I don't remember how much HP they have or how dangerous they are is the problem. I do know that they can fucking kill any one character in one hit. Because 1,000 needles is nasty. Oh, alright. Now we know that an attack from Zedon and a VV spell is enough to kill them. That's, like, actually a really good idea for a quiz. They both sound so similar, yet they make so much more sense in Mega Man X. Nah, I know, I just don't get Kojima's genius. He's a true artiste.
Maybe a Dadaist. Ha ha! Come on. There we go. Here, here's our our friendly neighborhood ragtime mouth. Yes, please. Pop quiz! Question 5. Theater ship Prima Vista uses mist as its source of energy. Oh, I actually know that one's true. <laughs> Correct! You got 2,000 gil. You got a hundred percent correct! You're an expert! They're so friendly. Friendly and terrifying. Is that enough? Goblin Punch! Which I believe gets stronger the more goblins you kill. Come on, I just want Queenie to eat this goblin. No, if you get a question wrong, then you just get a question wrong. Om nom nom nom. Alright. Um. How about some overkill? Anyone up for some overkill? That's some good overkill. Queen of learned ability up. Dagger learned float. It does taste like a Hertz, doesn't it? Alright, Queen of can switch to... Better or worse armor, maybe. Oh, there is no better armor. That's good. Um, let's put them in the Mithril Vest for now, then. Dagger learned Float and is finished with the Multina Racket. So we can switch her to the Starburst Rod for Reflect. Hey look, it's Coos Marsh. Weird, right? Queena has said that the Coos travel all over the world. Alright, Vivi casts Fyra, and then Queena eats right away. Oh, never mind. That was exactly the thing I did not want to happen. Well, that and what just happened. Oh shit. Well, this sucks. Technically one. Ah, technically, the best kind of victory.
But technical victories might make gamers TM angry. Ooh, who's this? We found a friend. <gasps> Their body is a cabbage! I want some ore. I want more! If you give a ladybird a cookie. Alright! Tell Yeti I said hello! Thanks! <laughs> 20 AP. Learned fucking everything. Except for this stuff. Alright, Vivi can take off the survival vest. Zidane can wear it. This is fine. You can wear the fairy earrings. They can wear the power belt. All right, good to go. I think that's where we stop for tonight, though. Oh, gosh. I'm starting to ache. Like, more than usual. Thanks, everyone, for coming. We'll get back to more awesome side content next week. This is Donna Plains, apparently. Today has been Katie's birthday, by the way. She'll be doing press any key tomorrow, so you can wish her a late one then. Schedule for the next week is, as I said, tomorrow is Katie with Press Any Key. The theme is Things That Go Bump. Sunday is Zoo with uh, Dark Devotion. Monday is Christy with Hollow Knight. Tuesday is Annie with Mages of Mistralia. Wednesday is Community Day. Probably Paladins. The new season started and there's a new tiger. There is a new French tiger man. And Thursday's back around to me with more Final Fantasy IX. I will pass on your birthday wishes. Let me think. Right. Thanks everyone for your support, whether it's monetary or coming in to watch, chatting, anything, telling your friends. That's that's how the channel keeps going and growing and something else that rhymes with that. Flowing? Flowing. We're going with flowing. And we've also got a whole stream team whom whomst you can follow listed under the stream here on the page at truck.community. They're all great streamers, some of whom are in chat, and they're absolutely worth your follows and watches and etc. Alright, good night everyone. Thanks.